Have a seat. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, we read this one. I don't even get a fancy operating chair. It's just this little stool here. Alright. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. She's got quite the setup at home. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait bruit. Parfait bruit. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. Oh, okay. That's Evelyn's boss? Who's telling her to get a layout of the place so they can get the biochip probably? But Evelyn wasn't really supposed to care about the biochip part. But the boss. Well, I'm pretty sure the boss is looking for that too. Take a look around if you want. Oh, Evelyn. Can't see her face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. ID Scrambler. We could kind of see vaguely what she looks like, and she had a pretty unique accent, so I feel like we can use these things to locate her if we see her face to face, but not as a way to be like, hey, of the 10 bajillion people in Night City, I'm gonna be able to find this person. Where even are- whoa. Where even is this place? I haven't looked at the other layers for a bit because there's nothing. And try to be your usual relaxed self. Evelyn doesn't move in this whole place, so what we see is what we're gonna get. What is this place? Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. A church likely located in Pacifica. It's a church! This is a church. But there's like skulls here. That doesn't seem like a traditional church. Hmm, a lot of these like offerings. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Sounds good to me. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. 
Now we know what happened at Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. And she wanted to get the biochip when she wasn't supposed to. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? This feeling of wanting to move up the street gang ladder, like, you know, becoming a legend in Night City and all, it's shared by everybody. It's not just Jackie, but even Evelyn, too. She doesn't want to work for her boss eternally. She wants to be her own boss. We all do. Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Is this one broken? Oui. Oui, allez. Vous avez une raison, moi, c'est tout intelligent pour ça. Protéger bien. Moi, je n'ai pas enragé. No parlez français. C'est le plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur les gens. Il faut que nous prenions chance là. Vous avez une plus bonne idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est pas une critique à ça, je pense. À continuer à faire travail ou. What language is she speaking? Is it French? No. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Hmm, it's not a language that Evelyn knew. Actually, do we see if Evelyn knows a language? Do we see it, or are we just seeing and not understanding because we don't have the implant? It wasn't quite French, huh? Like, I recognize some words, like très bien and whatever, but it wasn't spelled like it is in French. Haitian Creole. Creole is like a mixture of languages, so probably French and then something else. Maybe even more than one thing. Try scanning the phone. Nope. Oh. How do I scan here? Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention you're a Nobu. I didn't. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Cut another name. Something like Silverhand? Really? I didn't catch any of that. We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Better hope it's a good one and not Google Translate. <laughs> I mean, obviously, for you know, for the purposes of immersion and whatnot, yeah, everything works perfectly. But in real life, I can't imagine that every language can translate into every other language perfectly. Like that's just not possible. <laughs> Wait, why is it? It's like going backwards. Out. Wait, 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 can we hear from the beginning? Oh, this is our boss. Oh, this is our boss. I didn't hear Silverhand at all. 
très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est pour me critiquer ça, je pense. Je continue à faire le travail. Hmm. It's her boss lady with the accent? Might be speaking in a different language on purpose to throw everyone off. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Just tell her. Biochip we stole? It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. <clears throat> know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. A simple no would have sufficed. These people, what could they want from Alt? What is Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? What is Alt? Do we know this? There's nothing you can take away from a person. You just gotta look hard enough. When all options are exhausted, you've still got the body that can be harvested. Skills that can be put to good use. Oh, and let's not forget Dignity. That's a classic. Hell, I'm starting to think I could have done worse than end up on this little relic of yours. Oh, now it's Johnny talking to us. It's not Jackie anymore. Takemura's still waiting for us. And then Hellman. Wow, this, uh, I thought it was gonna be a short thing, but... Finding Evelyn is like one thing leading to the next, and we just keep going. We just keep going. Bushido and Neo-Postmodernism. The Bushido franchise is a litmus test of our time. This groundbreaking film series puts on full display the entire spectrum of American society, masterfully pointing out the greatest problems of the neo-modern era. Live fast, die never, was in its own way, a generational manifesto on the affirmation of life. It's that poster that we saw back at Clouds. The use of vivid colors, shaky cinematography, ubiquitous blood effects, and pervasive brain splatter testifies to the extraordinary self-awareness of the director who once revealed in an interview how he fucking loves it when hot chicks dissect the shit out of the bad guys. Perhaps no other concept more aptly describes the underlying societal ethos when Bushido 3 was released. Especially worthy of note is the repetition in the subsequent installments of the implant bomb motif, through the prism of which the protagonist reinterprets reality. One film is the convention's flawless implementation appears in the latest film of the series, Bushido X Fade to Black. The scene in which the powerful Gorida this embodies the arm of Jake, as played by transcendent Tim Kelly. Demonstrates in brilliant form the duality of the human condition. On one hand, Jake loses his cybernetic arm, a symbol of both his tragic past and the ongoing techno-ontological conflict within his psyche. Another cybernetic arm, huh? On the other hand, literally, it is precisely due to this dismemberment that Gorita is blown to bloody bits by a sensational explosion sequence and the final disintegration of the antagonist's body into a blood spray of gore. How should this be interpreted? It is a metaphorical cry of deeply rooted despair, a manifestation of the personal transgression. This fragmentation of body could likewise be interpreted as a fragmentation of the individual mind, thus provoking the question, whose mind? Indeed, had everything the viewer's scene of Jake's struggle been, in fact, a personified embodied fear? Had he not been embroiled in epic battle with a vile monster, but rather, only with himself? Could the entirety of Jake's narrative have been a manifestation of some cyberpsychotic dream state? 
Among all the depth and nuance that has defined this franchise since its inception, only one thing is truly certain. Bushido has forever changed the world of cinema. Well, despite brain dances being the prevalent form of entertainment here, it, it seems like films are still a thing. I bet Bushido is the kind of film that gets a new movie every year. It's probably trash. <laughs> Shopping list, high index contact lenses, buoys with sensors, neural signal augmenter, idea, pain circuit breaker for dolls. Once the max pain threshold is reached, the session automatically shuts down. Client receives a fine. I wonder if that's for physical pain only, or does it count for mental pain? Could actually be useful for Evelyn. Help. From Evelyn to Judy. Hey, it's been like a thousand years since we saw each other. What's up with you, girl? You still cooped up in Susie's basement? Still with Maiko? Hoping at least one of those things isn't true anymore. So, I've got a tiny favor to ask. Okay, it's more like a humongous favor. Super important to me, but should be a breeze for a geek like you. Holler back at me. Hey, Ev. Mind just straight up telling me what's going on? This got anything to do with your previous messages? And yes, one of those things isn't true anymore. Dating Maiko? I need you to scroll a virtue for me. That's it, I promise. In exchange, I'll make sure you don't have to do anything for the rest of your life but art. Let's just meet, okay? Where can I find you these days? Susie's basement. I feel like we've seen the name Michael before, haven't we? Hmm. Working with us. TV station. N Wands. Hi. We're the biggest TV broadcast channel in NC. Some of your BDs recently fell into our lap and we're really impressed. We'd like to offer you the chance to work in a young, dynamic team of artists, like yourself, with flexible working conditions and the chance to create an eye-popping portfolio. Let us know what you think. Hi, Judy. Did you receive my last message? We'd really like you to consider our offer. I assume no answer was enough? Hi, Judy. Of course, I understand. Let us know if you change your mind. Talented? But... The thing about how everyone is ambitious in Night City, maybe that doesn't really apply for Judy. At the very minimum, she doesn't want to work for a new station. Roxanne Sumner. Hey! I had a really weird sick with a client. I met him at a bar when I was offline. He said he'd been coming to me exclusively for a few months and that he wanted to get to know me. We talked a lot. He's a corpo. He said his job isn't that different to mine because he also has to put on an act all day. Like, he has to play golf with his boss, who he hates or whatever. He seemed kind of nice. Now he wants to meet up outside of clouds. What do I do? Take him to Lizzie so we can keep an eye on you, just in case. And keep a stunner on you. <laughs> People go to her for love advice. Work with us, Judy. Singhad Studios. Hi, we're one of the biggest movie production studios in the world. We'd like to offer you the chance to work in a young, dynamic team. Wait. Wait. Maybe I understand why this isn't... <laughs> I get these kinds of emails pretty often, too. Like, lately, for YouTube channels, there's been this scam going around where people are like, Hi, we work with uh, some big game here. We'd like you to make a video of our game for a billion dollars. Please contact us on WhatsApp and we'll let you know more. And I actually, uh, you know, recently I finished playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and I got an email where I think the person trying to scam me probably saw that. So they were like, hey, we're working with Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines too. But then they also said, this game is going to be releasing on Steam soon. And immediately I knew that was a tip off because that game is not releasing on Steam yet. <laughs> actor. Judy to Evelyn. Hey Ev, I'm looking for a BD actor. Client wants as little chrome as possible. Age doesn't matter. Know anyone who'd be up for it? Eddies aren't spectacular, but they're not terrible either. I'll ask. That's it? Two words? Everything alright? I don't know, Judy. Everything's been nagging at me lately. Starting to think I wasn't made for this. Sleazy clients, porn, piss-poor conditions, shitty eddies. Wasn't meant to turn out like this. We deserve more, don't we? You do. 
So she was working at Clouds, but she also had a different boss for a different gig on the side. Because being a doll is not... it's not a fancy job. Is this in chronological order? I fucked up. From Evelyn. Hey Jude, sorry about earlier today. I was pissed at Susie and you took the flack for it. I know you, know how you work, but you play the wrong hand. I know. Talk to her again once you're both chilled. I'm sure it'll be fine. I doubt it. Ah, last time we were at Lizzie's, I think I missed talking to her on my way out. I went the other way, so I'll have to remember to talk to her next time. Judy to Sydney Roberts. I'd like to explore my options about an unlawful juvenile detention when I was 16 years old. I'm pretty sure I'm owed some kind of compensation. I'm looking for a lawyer who can take on this case for 10% of the awarded sum. Hello, can you please provide more details? How are you so sure the sentence was unlawful? I was convicted for stealing a fire truck and for the illegal use of property belonging to the fire department, except I didn't steal that truck. I found it in a scrapyard and fixed it up. It took me half a year, but when I was done, it looked better than factory new. They busted me on my first ride. Nobody believed I didn't steal it. Winning compensation from the city council is extremely difficult and in my opinion, not worth the trouble. So you don't believe me either. Thanks for nothing. Hmm, so Judy was in juvie before. Probably kind of feel like, you know, the world's abandoned you and all that. Don't really trust the world. There's no one really trustworthy around here. Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. That's a stretch. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Well, whether or not we were gonna side with her for the heist didn't matter in the end. Hey, I love this table, this countertop. I love how it's like... kind of dirty. Because that looks used. Because it looks like it belongs in a home. Like someone just made circles and wiping it down. But it's still kind of crappy anyway. <laughs> Chapter 1, The Future of Neurotechnology. The 21st century heralded a worldwide revolution in neurotechnology. We as a society can no longer image an existence without technologically heightened senses, enhanced memory capacity, and pain modulators. By linking our neural systems with computer chips, we are capable of learning complex skill sets in seconds, then subsequently forgetting them again, the instant they are removed. Today, after nearly 80 years of increasingly incorporating these technologies into our daily lives, we must now ask ourselves, what comes next? In recent years, the academic community has reignited discussions on possible new methods to influence brain plasticity. Is it possible to create permanent neural pathways using coprocessors? Can we expect a breakthrough regarding dopaminergic data manipulation in our lifetimes? If so, what will be the consequences? The probable emergence of commercially viable artificial neurotransmitters would undoubtedly reshape the health science field, yet would simultaneously introduce a potentially destructive tool to most governments and corporations. The field of plasticity manipulation remains in its infancy, but most experts agree we should prepare for a future in which such neurological rewiring will become as commonplace as the cybernetic implants used so pervasively today. Studies should begin exploring now how science can adapt our bodies to optimize the effects of this technology while minimizing its abuse and potential unwanted side effects. Wow, it's like... I mean, implants are like putting robotic stuff into our body, but this is, this is affecting the, the chemistry, the makeup of our actual body.
Your fish are so small in here. Wait, what's that? Oh! Oh, well, well. The Bushido Collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Pretty cool, huh? Judy is a nerd, is what I'm gathering here. I think Evelyn needs a little bit of rest before we can look at that again. Hmm. No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? Way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Whoa there. Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Hey, if something were to happen between me and Judy... I don't want Johnny to be there. <laughs> well, maybe we don't have to think about that. Tech thingy. Notes. I forgot to change the notifications in the pressure gauge. Add an automatic reset when starting it up. Tracking module froze underwater again. Probably the waterproof case is blocking the signal. Fix. Make an opening for an antenna. Connection loss with a barometer when setting when set at bathymetric mode. Fix. Add an automatic signal to switch back to last position before connection lost. Just a hardcore tech nerd. Robotics nerd. And I'll come back for that next time, maybe. Well, uh, thanks, Judy. It was nice to see you. Maybe I'll see you again some other time. Bathroom reading material. There is so much- she loves reading, doesn't she? There's a bonsai in her thing. But, uh, clearly she doesn't like doing the laundry. See ya. What? Mr. Hands. Call Mr. Hands. Because he's the guy in Pacifica? Is that it? Okay, we just did a long main thing. I was thinking now might be a good time for us to go back home, maybe. Neutralize target. Let's do that right here. Okay, well, let's just do it right here. It's right here. But after that, I want to go back home. You know, just to sleep a little bit. And what about Barry? You know, the guy, my neighbor? I think he's still waiting for me to come get him. And I kind of feel bad for leaving him hanging. So let's, um, let's see if we can't get that done, too. Earlier, when we were in the maintenance room, there was a thing that needed 20 technical ability. It kind of made me think maybe I did the main quest a little bit too early? I have no clue. Let's do intelligence. I want my breach to go up higher. <gasps> Although, you know, body and reflexes, 7 would be nice. Oh, I've still got a perk point. Oh, you know what? For a stealthing? This might be nice, yeah, because I thought this was talking about aerial takedown, but it's talking about a normal takedown, right? Oh, I can throw knives. Do I have to throw... Like, do I have to equip a knife? The one that I'm using right now? I wouldn't want to do that, right? Because it's a nice knife. I have to get like a bunch of random knives? Okay. All right. And this would probably be a good time to go visit Vic and make some what cyberware upgrades. Today? All that stuff. Where do you live, Judy? Oh, this is probably crappier than my place. Where are we? Kabuki. She lives in Kabuki. Okay, gun for hire means that we can just go in guns a blazing and kill a person. I need some relief, okay? I need to, like, just bang, bang, shoot, shoot. 
Let's see if we can't get this done here. But we're getting further and further away. V, got a simple clean cut case. Need you to zero someone who's been extorting regular hardworking folks. Ugh. Our public enemy's name is Blake, and he is one slippery motherfucker. More info on him and his MO attached. Guy with a that hat? A beret? Blake Croyle. Aoba on O'Malley Place Street. Racketeering's the name of the game in Kabuki. Act 1, a promising money deal. Act 2, an unplayable debt. The sucker this time was Roger Wang, store chain owner. Blake's already sees ownership of one of the stores, but has bigger plans. Like I said, his kind of debt's unpayable. So Wang got wise and paid us instead. This human shit scene, Croyle, is about to disappear. So the time to act is now. But the animals are helping him. Which one is it? Neither of these guys. Wanna ping up? Okay. Alright. You guys want to talk? They look like you want to talk. What does a corpo say before he's about to off himself? What? Guys, please don't. <laughs> that that was funny. Oh, haha, guys, haha, that was very funny. Ah, oh, you're walking too fast. Uh, ping again just in case. Dude, there's just people around here. Can I really just do this? Can I do this dump? Oh, that guy moved. Whoa! Sh what the hell? How do you not see me? None of my business, I guess. You know what we should do about stealthing and assaulting? I mean, not stealthing? If we ever get to the point where we do so much stealth, we're not even getting levels anymore, then we should probably switch to attacking. Yeah? I feel like that would be a pretty good indicator that we're preferring one style over the other too much. I can activate it, remotely. Let's ping again. Ping is pretty useful, I like it. But we got him. That was a guy talking. Hmm. Yeah, I do want to put these guys in the dump if we can. Because it still gives us experience points. Oh, maybe not this one. Can't bring him out that far. 
That is fine. Scared me, buddy. Is that all the friends we're gonna see here? Can I just get you? That was simple. Should I kill you? Let's do a little experimentation here. How long does it take for him to struggle out of my grasp? Can he escape? We haven't seen- Yes, he can. Come on, I'll fuck you just right! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? <laughs> I tried- Oh, did I accidentally call my car instead? Well, okay, now we know that it does- You know, people do struggle out of it eventually. We had to learn somehow, okay? I wanted to knife him, though. If that would have been okay. Let's just knife him. It says neutralize, but why do we want to keep him alive anyway? There you go. Plus, if we don't kill him, maybe they're gonna make me... Maybe they're gonna make me bring his body out somewhere, and that's annoying. Stab. Oh, but I'm... I don't want to throw my knife, though. Just snipe him. Whoa! What the hell? He's got, like, a minigun! Holy crap. Defender. Power light machine gun. Is he still alive? Damn, this seems interesting, but the, the knife? I'm not sure if it was really doing anything, though. I think the problem, someone mentioned that the... Um, some of you guys were mentioning that the problem with the um, throwing knife thing is that you can't get the knife back. Which kind of makes it sucky, because if you have a good knife, you wouldn't want to throw it, right? And? Got the Eddies, man, on our way. Got anything spicy for us to start with? Beat down? Curb stomp? You're just watching for now. Look tough, guard me. Eh, sounds like a snooze job. Occasionally pop a knee. Or deal with someone's wife, husband, kid, whatever. Nothing too complicated. Now that's more interesting. Should have started with that. There's no shortage of bad people in Night City. Can I just... No, I can't dump you. You're... Hmm. Okay. What? Who's angry? Who's angry? I thought I was going- I- Whoa! Who did I miss? And how did you know? Oh! Shit! They're people! They're people! They have extra people coming in. In a car! People, this is a damn... This is not a parking garage. You can't bring your car in here. What are you doing? He's trying to ram his car in here. Whoa! Hey, I like the scope. Yeah, this doesn't even feel like- I mean, I'm not doing that hot, but it doesn't feel like it's super hard. But we have to be a little bit more mindful of how we play, is the impression I'm getting. Where's the last guy? Excuse me, I'm not done reading- What the? Hi! Oh, you guys scared me! You guys scared me! Is there a way for me to tell if I've read something before? Like, I know that probably if we go into the... Um, 
Where is it? Like, maybe... Shards? I wish there was a more obvious way without going in here. But you know what? We'll read everything eventually. And I mean everything. There's multiple times that we can come up across certain things anyway. So maybe we don't even have to open that screen and look for them. Oh my god. Thank you for tuning in to the N54 local news. Have a pleasant day. That's expensive. 40,000 euro dollars for having an undocumented pet. Drinks, dancing, debauchery. We have read this. Yes. Debt. Roger Wang, you're joking. I didn't borrow an any from you. We talked about a loan, that's all. Roger, time is money and mine ain't cheap. I gave you business, advice. A service that isn't a charity. One more thing. Could you pass along my warm regards to your daughter and congratulate her on her pregnancy? It's a tiger claw, none of your business, man. Why y'all like this? I'm sure you're real excited to be a grandpa. Yada yada yada, take the money. Why are you coming in here? Your damn tiger claw. Sheesh, Raj, no need to get nasty. You hurt my feelings, you know what? As for what you sent, it ain't enough. Silly you, you forgot the interest, but actually. I just got a thought for a quick and convenient way for you to put a ribbon on this thing. Give me that little shop of yours in Kabuki and we're all square. Only this time, I could do without the attitude. Oh, this guy actually hired the animals. Yeah, I mean this like spam message looking thing. My beloved debtors, Adam Allen, Roger Wang, James Spears, Lily Mills, this guy makes a living out of extorting people, pretty much. Is it this? Are you making noise? You know I have to hack all vending machines. Oh man, what could be behind this? Another way in, probably. Why are you against me? There might be a assault nearby. It might be this one. Give me some free money, please! One C... 55? One C 55 BD... 1C55, BD55. Are you guys in love with the animals so much? Why do you keep wanting to get me? I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do anything. Ah! Ah! You were just peeking through the window, hoping to get some... Some kind of benefit. Oh, geez, I'm sorry about your leg. That looks like it hurts. So the assault is around here. No, the assault is around here. There is a problem, you got rid of it. I'm happy, the client's even happier. Good work, V. Get closed. Where is the assault? It's... <laughs> Something smells like chicken! <laughs> you mean like uh, someone being a scaredy cat? Like a chicken? That kind of chicken? Where are you? <laughs> how do I get up to you? I'd gladly love to hang out with you, but how do I get up to you? This goes down. Yeah, this is going further away. Hey, man. Yeah. 
You? You wanna get me? Be careful not to get the civilians. I see you on the mini-map, but I'm not sure how to get to you. Ah! Oh god, there's a whole bunch of them here! Wanna try something? <laughs> I don't think it'll work though. I think we'll die. Never mind. Maybe the last guy. What we could also do is try to hit some of the stuff around us. The explosives and whatever. The katana is mine. Are we happy? Oh jeez, what the hell this person- I hope they're just glitched, but I don't even see a- I don't even see a head. Shinji Kato to Hideo Suzuki. All's good. You sure? Because I've been hearing things. Fuck people who tell me how to live my life. No, I get it. Just, you know, this is about our money. Someone die? No. Just try to keep it straight at work, okay? Who was it? Who what? Who ratted me out? Buddy, it's not like it's a big secret. People notice. You never take a beat off. Your pace is... a lot right now. People are joking you're contagious, and you'll give them all ADHD. And I heard about the last thing. You know, the no pants incident. Take a breather, some time off, get clean, whatever. Get off my back, Hideo. Don't act like you never choke the eel. I got under control. Right. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> Drugs, I guess? Contagious? Choking the eel? You talking about some STDs here? But this isn't even the neutralizing the assault, because that's actually over here. If you look on the minimap, it's still here. Ooh, what you guys making? I don't want to throw my knife. Oh, it is here, but there's nobody here now. Just gotta get the thing. Akai Oni Titan Titanium Boost Kit Mempo. I equipped it. Ram Jolt. Michiko Ogata and Kazu Inukai. I'm waiting. Crate with the item is on its way to you, plus about 50 doses of glitter. Next week, make it 200. Hell, I'll take 300 if you can swing it, of glitter. Two more things. Yes? The terms of the badges have been settled, and the samurai want you to put more kids to work. The children are recruited, already running. Don't worry about the badges, we pay, they keep us hidden. Glitter? The Tiger Claws are working with the police. Well, the Tiger Claws, we know that they were already working with Arasaka, right? Which is kind of governmenty anyway. Everyone's... Yeah, these gangs. It's like this weird ecosystem. You can't get rid of all of one side. The police aren't going to try to get rid of all the bad guys. Vehicle acquired. Oh! My car got fixed! My car got fixed. Cool. Oh, thank you, Delamain. Merch for Watts from Samurai to Kazu. I Wait, Samurai? Kazu, we're doing what we can, but there's only one of us for now. The lad can handle around 45 to 50,000 a month. That's it. So if you ask me, I'd leave Westbrook. They got their own toys anyway, and focus on the slums. For Watson. We think we'll need around 30,000 hits Santo Domingo. 50,000. I'll try to sell 5,000 in Haywood. Worth a shot, but it's up to you. Are they making some kind of drugs? A lab? Hmm.
Ooh, look at this. Huh. We're not really in that nice of a neighborhood. Everything feels very makeshift here. Yeah, we can do this eventually, although they're kind of in the area. I want to go home. Where is the nearest fast travel point? Report a crime. Fixer. Sutter Street? Let's go there. So we can fast travel back home. Since the main mission seems to be... Oh. Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab. Bar has a buzz about you lately. As the merc who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop, I'll tell you more. Your garage, where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot, you can't miss it. All right, try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay, see you, Claire. Just fuck off, please! Killing is fun! <laughs> killing is fun, isn't it? How fun is killing? Oh no, I I think I killed the freaking guy. I killed- because that guy wasn't- yeah, that guy was innocent. Ah, that guy was a civilian! I'm so sorry! He was caught in the crossfire. Oh, I got a... That's right, we can't really rush in anymore, you know? Just happened to spot some random street crime here. At least I saved one lady. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. Oh no. I was directly responsible for killing that guy. Oh well, nothing a nice shower at home can't fix. Let's go home. I don't remember Claire at Lizzie's. I thought Mateo was at Lizzie's. Huh. <laughs> I love this. We don't even get experience for this. But it's built into me. I've got to do it. Man, even just getting to a fast travel marker takes a while. We've been here before, right? I kind of vaguely remember it. But if you asked me to come back here, I probably wouldn't be able to. Hey, hey, you see that? That thing right over there. What? Fuck you, smoking too. Sandra Dor said. Yeah, you didn't, but I did. It was like some kind of glitch, just for a split second. It was beautiful and scary as fuck. Light spliced with dark. Like I stared at the sun for too long. Time to debunk your optics, hmm? Ripper Doc told me the same thing. As if I didn't swap him out already twice this year. Shit. Well, you need to do something about that. Don't want Max Stack busting down your door. Hey, fuck you, man. I'm fine, all right? I just... I just need to... Be good idea, you do that. And, uh, about that other gig... We got you covered. Don't sweat it. Just go home, get some sleep, or whatever. Implant problems? Man, when you look around the cityscape, like from this angle, it feels very... current day Hong Kong-y. Probably not quite what California would look like today. But yeah, like definitely feels very Hong Kong-y. 